Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amanda, and today I want to share with you how I created digital downloads or digital prints to sell on Etsy using a free design website. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. As you can see, this is my Etsy shop. It's called Hopes and Crafts Co. And I started it about two years ago when I first started creating these simple quote prints. And I just wanted to show you how easy it is for you to make your own and sell them. Um, I won't go into the whole um, Etsy selling process, but I will go into the tutorial on how to design these using a website called Canva. So if you're interested, let's go ahead and get started. First, we'll go to Canva. Now you don't have to pay for the pro version, although I did the free trial when I first started creating prints and it did make things a lot easier. I do currently sell my prints in three different sizes and Canva Pro really helps with resizing a lot faster and easier, but it can definitely be done using the free version. So you can use the free trial, but you can also start out with the free version first to get started. Now my prints, I sell them in the sizes 5x7, 8x10, and 11x14. You can definitely figure out which one you want to start with or if you want to start with a different size, but those are kind of generic print sizes. Once you first create an account, we're going to create a design and select custom dimensions. So make sure you put it in inches first and then for the width you put eight and then height you can put 10. You can obviously use whatever dimensions you'd like but this is what I'm going to use for this demo. Create new design. So typically I do quote prints and I'll just add text. As you saw in my Etsy shop, my prints are very simple and minimalistic so you can go that way. Um, but you can also be more designy if you'd like and be more creative with it. But I'm just going to show you how I did mine. So first I select text on the left hand side. Now this will pop up different templates, but I typically just click the add heading and then start from here. So I'm just going to do a simple phrase and from here, the possibilities are pretty much endless. I'm going to select all. What's great about Canva, even though it's free, is that it has a ton of amazing fonts for free. So the pro version includes all the fonts with the crowns, but honestly, there are so many cool fonts without that. I'm just gonna click this one. This one looked kind of cool. It kind of has like a vintage vibe. And Canva is really easy to use. So you can play around with it however you like. These grid lines come up so that it makes sure that things are centered. I also love adjusting the spacing so that you can just make it look completely different with this spacing and then you can change the sizing. You can also expand the text using the corners as well. Now that's pretty much it. <laughs> I mean, you can use any quote you want and you can add different elements. What's nice about Canva is that it has a lot of different elements available. If you go to the elements section and then search for something that you're interested in, there'll typically be a lot of options that are free, um, like you can see here. And then the ones with crowns are only available for the pro version. So it's nice that sometimes you can change the color. So this one is black, but you can also change it to whatever color you want. So it really depends on which image you choose. And then I kind of like it at the top. You can really be very creative with this, but I just wanted to show you an option there. You can also upload your own photos as well. So there's a lot you can do with Canva for free. Now what you can do to download the PDF version is you'll go to download on the far right and then instead of PNG, you're going to select PDF print. And what I like to do is I'll include the crop marks and bleed, which helps when people go and get this, this print printed at a shop and it allows them to cut it a lot easier because it has guidelines. So once you do that, you just click download And gonna open that up. And this is the PDF. These are the crop marks here on the right hand side, as you can see. 
So once those are cut out, you'll have an eight by 10 print. As you can see, this is really easy to do and it took me less than five minutes to create. These Etsy digital downloads are really great forms of passive income, which means once you've created it and you've posted it on Etsy, you can just leave it up there and you just let it sit there. The listing fee is, I wanna say like 20 cents for every two to three months or something like that, which is super easy. It's kind of like you set it and forget it. You can do marketing if you'd like or promotions and stuff like that. But honestly, it's a very hands-off product, which I really like. I did also want to show you how to offer multiple sizes of the same design. Now with Canva Pro, what you can do is you can resize. You can get this resized to any size. It could be another art print or it can be social media. But with the free version, what I'll do is I will open up another design say i want it to be a five by seven create and then i will go to my current design select it all and copy it and then go to the new five by seven design and paste it and as you can see it might be either too big or too small but all you do is keep it both selected and you could group it if you'd like and then just resize it according to the size of the new design. So once I get it centered and resized, that's pretty much it. All I have to do is add a new file name at the top and then download the whole thing again. So download PDF print, include crop marks and bleed, And that's pretty much it. So now I have an eight by 10 version, but I also have a five by seven version. And you can include multiple sizes with one Etsy listing. So that is how you can offer multiple sizes to allow it to be more flexible for your buyers. I hope this tutorial helped you. If it did, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Wishing you the best of luck creating Etsy digital prints, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.